What's up, my hitters? Welcome to Thug Notes. Today, we about to learn about necrosis. So I'm gonna tell you a story about my friend, Erica. So one day, my homegirl Erica was just walking, minding her own business, when all of a sudden she ate it. That's gotta hurt. Then she realized her knee got all jacked up. <laughs> Little did she know, her cells inside were freaking out, and that's when the whole process of necrosis kicked in. Let me get things straight. Necrosis happens when a cell is injured and can't be repaired. There's just some chemicals or physical forces that screw over the cell and it can't be fixed. Then, the cell bursts. All because the lysosomes got too swole. You see, when the lysosomes reach a certain size, it explodes and all of its digestive enzymes leak out into the cell and dissolves the cellular membrane. As a result, the cell bursts and it says bye-bye to all of its intercellular material, aka blebs, because that stuff leaves and leaks out into the bloodstream. Then the white blood cells swoop in and eat up all the blebs. Necrosis usually takes about 4-12 to 12 hours and usually results in inflammation. Six and a half hours later. So my homegirl Erica, she got stuck with a nasty cut. She stays taking L's. That's all you gotta know about necrosis. Hope you learned something. That's the key to success. Get your education. Thank y'all for watching. Tune in next time on Biology's Essentials video number 17. Wait, Mr. Anderson, that's the wrong video. Oh shoot, this is done. Sorry, sorry. Thank y'all for watching. Tune in next time. Peace.